Hello there and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Extra Life Donation Tracker on Linux with the GUI. A few things have changed since the last time I made a video, so I'm making a brand new one to show you guys what to do. So you want to start out by going to my GitHub page. You can go to uh, github.com slash djotaku slash el donation tracker and I'll have that URL at the bottom in the description of the video. And once you come here, you just want to click on releases. You want to grab the latest one. At this time, the latest one is version 2.2. And right, so um, I'll have some instructions here that may be useful, especially if you're used to some of the older versions and I might have changed something. So there might be some useful information here to read. But basically, you want to go here to Extra Life Donation Tracker for Linux. Click on that, it'll download. Now, I have already um, downloaded it previously. Um, so that I could have a nice clean folder to put it in. And so here it is. So what you wanna do is right click on that. And um, I'm using KDE, GNOME, uh, or XFCE, or any other window manager, file manager might be slightly different. Uh, worst case scenario, if you're using Linux, I assume you know how to go to the command line and um, untar something. But what you can do in KDE is go to extract, extract here, auto detect subfolder. Right, and that'll give you your folder there that you want to go into. So you just click on here, click on GUI, and then uh, if you want to have the um, command line to show you any errors, you can find a way to open up this folder in the command line. In KDE, it's really easy. You can just hit F4. Oh, unfortunately, for my OBS recording, it puts it on my other window so you won't see it, but you can do that. Um, but we're not gonna worry about that. And uh, we're just gonna click on the GUI. Again, depending on your window manager and how you have things set up, you might need to double click. I just need to click once. And here's the Extra Life Donation Tracker GUI. All right, so, um, and basically anything that I um, collect any information I collect for you from the API that you can put into OBS will be found here. Um, now, because I do this on my computer already, it grabbed um, data from the last time I ran this. Um, but let's pretend you're running it for the first time, right? So these would stay blank. You go here to settings. The first thing you need to do is put in your participant ID. And here's how you get that. If you were to come to your extra life page. And so I'll go to mine. I've created this uh, URL that lets me get there quickly. Right here, where it says in, in this um, URL here, it says and participant ID equals, and there's your participant ID, you just want to copy and paste that into the settings there. And then if you're part of a team, it would be here. And here where it says team ID equals blah, blah, blah and you would copy that in. So if you go over here, you can see right here where I have where I have it in here, the team ID, participant ID. So um, the other thing you can do here is change the folder where the text files are going. And those are the text files that will um, you contain the data that you're going to import into OBS. So you want to click on folder. All right. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to put it in the same folder that I just extracted into, but you don't actually uh, want to do that because um, if you get a new version and you extract, now you're going to lose all your um, stuff that you did. I'm going to put mine here, new folder be text files I'll hit choose so you can see that that's changed the tracker image um, this should pull in correctly it's um, it's right here uh, you can change that to something else if you want what you want to do is you want to pick a PNG file that has a transparent background and that way as you'll see in a moment it'll um, you'll be able to see whatever's behind it. Um, and then you need to change the donation sound. So I've got one that I've included here. 
it's right here. Um, but you need to actually, because of the way that Qt grabs in sound files, you can't just tell it it's in the directory where the GUI was. So you need to change it. So I'll click here to select sound. Good donation. You can pick any MP3 you want. You want it to be relatively short because the um, tracker that this is part of, these two things are part of the tracker. It's going to disappear after uh, about five or so seconds. So then when you're done, you hit save. And that's going to update your uh, configuration file. And you can go ahead and close out of that window. So now, um, as you can see, it's all blank because I've set it to a new place. Um, that new place doesn't have any data yet. So uh, one thing before we start grabbing data, I want to show you the tracker. We're going to use this in OPS. All right, and when you hit here on test alert, you got a donation. You'll see that's the image that you could have selected, and that's the sound that uh, we selected. So right now, you see it's still blank because we switched over to um, the text files that are found are going to be found in here. So let's go ahead and hit run, and that'll start um, pinging the API. And then within about 50, oh, there you go. Really quickly pulled it in there. So now you've got the amount total raised, the amount of donations, the goal, the average donation, the last donation, the top donation, and the recent donations. And then for the teams, you've got your team captain, your goal, the total amount you've raised, the number of donations, the top team participant, and the top five team participants. These are all things that you can put into um, OBS. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But first, let's go to the text files here. These are the text files. This is that folder we picked, and these are the files that contain all that data that you see on the GUI. So anything in the GUI is something that you can put into OBS. So for example, if we go here to uh, last five donor names, there you go, and um, so on and so forth. So I'm going to shrink this window here, and we see this Jupiter background I've got. We're going to come over to OBS. So um, last time I made one of these videos, I found that uh, because of the infinite thing, like what you've got going on here, if I don't put it in studio mode, it's a lot harder to see exactly what's going on. And what we'll do is we'll apply um, everything we're doing to the folder scene. So that way it'll be a lot more apparent what it is we're actually doing. Although, just to keep things from getting confusing, I'm gonna move the tracker to one of my other screens, just so that's off screen. Otherwise, you'll see why it'll be a little confusing if that's actually on the screen. <laughs> okay, so let's start off by adding in, um, let's say, let's do a horizontal scroll of the donors. So what you'll do is you go to text, free type two, and we'll say horizontal donors, all right? And all right. Just wanted to make sure that's actually capturing. One of the times I did this, I think I did a window capture instead of a screen capture, and so it didn't actually capture this part of the tutorial. So we're going to do read from file, and a browse. All right. And so we were in temp. Extra Life video and text files, and we want what you want to do is pick last five donor name amount message horizontal. So you have it like this, so that'll allow you to scroll. So you take that, put it here along the bottom, drag it over to the edge, right? Then we uh, right click on it and go to filters, and you will add. Uh, Funnily enough, a scroll filter. And here you can pick the speed. Go really fast. Go really slowly. You can go backwards, but that kind of doesn't make sense. You want to go this way. So whatever speed you're fine with, I'll hit close. Now I'll switch over. And you can see what that looks like there on the bottom. You see? Um, right down here, you see all the names scrolling by. All right? And again, these are the same ones that are here just in a horizontal orientation, all right? 
So let's do another one just to kind of make sure you got the hang of it. Let's go to text. This one will be um, top team donors. We'll read that from the file. Hit browse, wait for the computer to do its thing. All right, team top five. This time instead of horizontal, we'll do the ones that are a list like this. Uh, maybe I will increase the font a little. All right. Now, if we go back over here, you can see here's all the names and those match these names. Okay. And there's just one more thing to do. And that is to add in the tracker. So that's where we had the image and uh, my daughter's voice saying you had a donation. So what you want to do, um, I'm not 100% sure if this is what happens in Linux, but whenever I've done this on Windows, whether it's my donation tracker or the one that I based this off of, off of um, five years ago, you need to start. Um, so you need to start this window first. You need to hit tracker so that this window comes up first. Then you need to start OBS because otherwise it's not going to uh, work correctly. It's actually going to display your um, this uh, GUI instead of the tracker, which is what you want. So we're going to go here and do a window capture. All right, we'll do tracker. All right, what window are we going to capture? Well, we have a lot of choices here. Um, I have a lot of windows open because this is uh, going across all my different <coughs> My different desktops. So we want to find tracker. Where's tracker? Oh, here we go. It's the last one. All right. So there's our green bar. I'm gonna hit OK. Here it is. So you put it wherever you want on the screen. Then you're gonna right-click on it. Click on filters. And you're going to do chroma key. It's automatically expecting a green screen. Green screen. So you can see here it's gone and here it's gone. So now when you close that window, uh, you can see it's over here. Now I'm going to transition over so you can see exactly what's going to happen, right? So here's the game you're playing, da da da, you're playing the game, and someone gives you a donation, it's going to look like this. You got a donation! So you see why it's important to have the clear background on your image so that the image shows through. And if you, I'm going to trigger it one more time. You got a donation! See here, this is equal to... Um, this one here, which you may or may not be able to see, it may be um, covered up by the six at the moment, but it's cool. whatever was your last donation, that's what's going to show up there. So that's what that's for. So that's all you need to know in order to put this together. So you just, all you need to do is um, set up whichever text you want over whatever part of the game, however you want to do it. Um, you can have the um, vertical list you can have a horizontal list that you scroll um, you can just show the top donation and that's it again anything that I've got a text for there which is also equivalent to anything that I've got here anything that I've got a field for here is something I've got a text file for and so one more thing before we go all right let's get this guy off this window all right so uh, going back over here to my uh, github page for the donation tracker if, if you come across any issues while you're using this where you think there's a bug or if you have a feature request, you just log into GitHub, click on issues, you know, go to my page, click on issues. Here's all the issues that we have open at the moment. All the issues are things that I'm tracking, things that I want to work on in the future versions of the software. Um, but if you look here, you can see there have been some tickets by other people. Um, this person had a text file missing error. Um, this person wanted team support. And so, you know, we just work through the issue, try to figure out what's needed and fix a bug and then make a new release. So I hope that helps you. And I hope you have a good game day um, using the software to keep track of your donations. Um, it's no requirement to do this, but if you find the software really useful, you can come over here and this link will take you to my Extra Life campaign page. I update this every year. The URL always remains the same, but I update where it points to, and you can 
uh, throw a donation my way for Johns Hopkins Children's Center, but you don't have to, it's okay. And um, that's it, so thanks for watching. Bye.